Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the problem solving session uh, at Semtem Academy. Uh, we'll look at one more question today. This is a theory question now. And uh, uh, the question is for three marks. Uh, again, I have tried to mention uh, both the Hindi and the uh, English versions of the question. Uh, now, please note it has two parts and the marks are three. So definitely one part has to have one marks and the second part has to have two marks. So whenever you answer this question, uh, you should have this clearly in mind as to what uh, the question is asking for and how many marks it is, is, it, is it asked for. Uh, so let's read the question. It says, why are most carbon compounds poor conductors of electricity? Now, this is a one marker question. The expected uh, uh, keywords or points would be maximum two. So you have to make sure that there are two most important keywords that you involve in the answer. So how would you answer this? So, so you would write the answer number. This is one of the most important things to write the right answer number when you're, you're answering a question. So you say answer 11, part A, and why are most carbon compounds poor conductors of electricity? Uh, the answer to this question is that carbon compounds are mostly formed of covalent bonds. So there are very little charges or free electrons available as are in ionic compounds and therefore uh, they do not conduct electricity. So what we would write this is, uh, please do not just write because they are covalent uh, compounds. No, that, that, that's not a good way to answer it. So uh, it, it's a good idea to write, most carbon compounds are poor conductors of electricity because, so we would write this as most carbon compounds, most carbon compounds are poor conductors of electricity because they are covalent compounds, they are covalent compounds with no free electrons no free electrons or ions available for conduction conduction of electricity okay so this would actually complete your answer and would fetch uh, uh, you know more marks if you are if you have time and if you get uh, enough time, please understand, coal, uh, please underline covalent compounds and no free electrons. It's a good idea to underline the keywords uh, whenever, you know, at the end of the paper, maybe with a pencil or with just the pen and to highlight that these are the keywords that are important. So that's how you would, you would, you would actually uh, uh, do a question 11th A. Now this would fetch one mark. Uh, let's try question 11th B. Now in question 11th B, they say, uh, write the name and structure of a saturated compound in which Carbon atoms are arranged in a ring. Name the, give the number of single bonds present in this compound. Now, please note they have asked any saturated compound in which carbon atoms are arranged in a ring. Uh, we can write cyclohexane, cyclopentane, cyclobutane, all of that would fetch marks. But there are two parts to this. They are also asking you number of single bonds present in the compound. And they are also uh, writing, uh, asking the name and the structure. So there are three parts that we have to mention. So you would say answer so if we have to write an answer to this, we would say answer 11th B and we would write this as uh, first. Uh, for example, let's try with cyclobutane. So we know this is cyclobutane and then you draw a structure with, a, with four. Since it is butane, it would have four uh, uh, carbons in it. So we have four carbons. Please note, do not forget to write the hydrogens. So there will be uh, hydrogen at each end this is an hydrogen at each end and you'll realize now you also write the, uh, that the number of s number of uh, single bonds please note it is saturated so do not write any double bonds saturated would have all single bonds and then we will write number of single bonds is equal to uh, let's count them so there are eight hydrogens so eight single bonds and there are four carbons so four single bonds there so eight plus four twelve so we have twelve single bonds in this solution now, please note uh, uh, the marking scheme for this answer would be that you would be given half a mark for writing the name and uh, drawing the formula correctly and half a mark for uh, writing the uh, total number of single bonds. So this would fetch you, uh, 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 you know, a complete 
uh, one so uh, this is for two markers so half for cyclobutene half for one mark for writing the structure and half for half mark for writing number of single bonds so this would fetch you a 12 total two marks uh, please note the answer is written in a complete sketch uh, do not simply write c4 uh, h8 uh, you have to write the structure and therefore it is important to write the expanded form so uh, uh, that's that's the answer for uh, a three marker question uh, we'll be looking at some more problems uh, see you soon in the next problem session. Thank you so much. Bye.